Below this is Cinema 4D Magic. And today I'm going to show you how to make a martini glass and its texture. So the first thing you want to do is go up into this corner here and click right there. And then you want to go into front view. So then you click here. And then you want to hold shift and press V. And then you want to click on back and this will allow you to load the image. So what you want to do now is go onto Google and find a martini glass that's symmetrical. I'm going to use one that I found the other day, which is this one. Yeah. So now you, I've got my martini glass. I'm just going to open it up. And then I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to change this to about minus three so it's in the middle or maybe 3.5 okay then I'm gonna go up to the spline and I'm get bezier and then I'm gonna click on the y-axis and then I'm gonna click here again and hold it and then adjust it until I think it's right I'm gonna click about here and then here, here, and now you've got to this bit, you don't want to go around here anymore, you just want to go straight to this line right here. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and get a lathe nerb, and you want to drag the spline underneath the lathe nerve and now this will form the shape of your martini glass then you want to click on this square again to come out of this and you want to go back into the perspective view so you click here and there you go we've created a martini glass so then with that selected you can drag it up a bit and then you want to Press C to make it editable. And then you want to get the selection tool here. And you want to come right on top of it. And then you want to select the polygon. And so you can select all the top of it and then delete it. So we have the inside of the glass. So you just want to go around and select all of it and then press delete and then you have the inside of the martini glass so now if you, you might want to get some lights drag the light up a bit get another light so come on C come on B Maybe even another one. Put it, you don't want too many shadows. And then we're going to create the glass texture. So I've already saved it, so I'm just going to open it up. Open. And so if you want to make it, you want to go into transparency you want to put the brightness on 95 percent and the refraction on 1.2 percent and then you want to go to reflection and you just want to keep the brightness on 100 percent and make sure it's ticked on and then you want to go down to specular and you want to put the brightness on 60 percent then you want to change the texture to Fresnel the mix strength on 60% and then you want to put the width on 37 the height on 78 the fall off you can leave it on 0 and put the inner width on 15 and in the color you want to not do a dark blue because then it will come out just a dark blue glass and unless that's what you're looking for so you want to go into a lighter color and then you want to just press OK and close that. And then you can apply the material to the glass. 
and then if we render it, that's what it looks like. But in to make it look better, you need to get a floor, and you just need to rotate it around and then rotate it 90 degrees so you want to hold shift and it will go up in tens or fives okay and then you can just push that back and we might need another light just pull it over this side and then press keyframe So there you go, there's the martini glass. If you want, you can go ahead and add some olives in there. It's not that hard. Make two spheres or three spheres, color them green. Um, make them editable. Select uh, part of the spheres with the polygon thing and color that area red, like on the olives. And if you want to see what that looks like, I can show you uh, like this. So this is martini glass with olives. So there you go. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe.